Uh, Mr. Reynolds here. Uh, this is the pre-lab for what I'm calling the ball on ramp lab. We've already done some, some labs with the motion of objects rolling across the floor. We had Miss Benson riding on the uh, longboard, or we might have also had the bowling ball rolling along the floor, two different labs. Well, now we want to check out what happens if we uh, take this marble, release it from the, the, this point here on this ramp, and as it goes down the ramp, what kind of motion will it, will it have, will it exhibit? So that's the pre-lab. One demonstration is right here, right? You'll start your stopwatch, ready, set, go. Every time the marble reaches a new finish line, you will get the timestamp off the video and record that in your data table. One caution, don't forget, the re when I release the marble, the stopwatch is not gonna be zero. The stopwatch that's on the iPhone is gonna read like 5.5 seconds. You're gonna need to subtract that from each of the subsequent times so that you can get the right time for each increment. In the end, what I'm gonna want you to do is zoom out, Mr. Topping, thank you. I'm gonna want you to predict how long will it take using the data from just the bottom half of this ramp how long would it take to get from the top of the ramp of a double long ramp, this is now twice as long, but at the same angle, how long will it take the marble to go all the way to the bottom of the ramp? You're not gonna have that data, you're only gonna have data for the bottom half of the ramp. What do you think is gonna happen there? So that is the, uh, that is the ball on ramp lab pre-lab. Good.